Holy crap! That's a lot of damage! Black bird! Oh boy, we have a game on our hands today. Even the creator of it had this to say when I agreed to give it a play. I like people like you that have got balls to talk about such kind of games. So I received an email from a Brazilian game developer saying they made a very cool and fun game. This is the first time anyone has ever reached out for me to play their game. And of course, it couldn't just be a lighthearted, easy to talk about experience. It had to be an over the top shooter from the perspective of Palestine. Part of life's rich tapestry. This is Knights of Al-Aqsa Mosque. After playing the game, I decided to ask the developer for a Zoom call interview. Based on the game describing itself as a realistic depiction of such a sensitive topic, and then the gameplay being this... I kind of assumed the game's creator would be a bit of a f***er. So I thought it would be funny to dress up like a dickhead and f*** about in the interview. You can imagine my embarrassment when he actually turned out to be a self-aware, sociable guy discussing heavy topics of perspective while I sat there looking like this. Many people, uh, innocent people die from both sides, but the, the biggest question about the Palestinian cause... Let's get into the game. What is Knights of Al-Aqsa Mosque? Well... The most based game of all times. <laughs> If you want to play this game, you better get used to the word base. You even get an achievement for joining the based gamer department for simply starting the game. Not sure if it's strictly legal to use Metacritic's brand name like that, but who cares? So what we have here is one of the most insanely over-the-top first-person shooters I've ever played. I like it to make something like over-the-top action. <laughs> So it's not opening even though I have the key. Maybe it's a different key? Whatever. Mother f That's one of the major problems I had playing the game is while a lot of aspects of it are pretty impressive considering it was made by just one person, half the time I didn't have a clue what the f was going on. For example, there was this countdown that kept popping up and when it hit zero, it'd just say I failed and I'd have to start again. At first I thought this was because I was being spotted by the cameras and I had to shoot them before the time ran out, but that turned out to not be it. Honestly, I have no idea. Delightful news for someone who cares. In the interview, Nadal mentioned the obvious controversy surrounding such a game. They call me terrorist, psychopath. All things considered, let's be honest, it's not a surprise that this was met with some shocked reactions. Allah Akbar. And it uh, keeps the, the subliminal message inside the game. Yeah, subliminal probably isn't the word I'd use. Subliminal implies a level of hidden subtlety. Whether or not you agree with the political message going on, it's hard to debate against the action in this game being mental. You can probably tell I've struggled to tiptoe my way around talking about this one. So I'll try and end the video with the most clear, undebatable way to sum up the whole game. In uh, one sentence, the most based game of all times. 